Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Some scattered showers out there left over. Again, the low still moving to the south, but this is all we've seen today. So no big bullseyes of 10, 12 inches of rain like yesterday. Certainly good news, but still a couple of spots out there getting about a half an inch to an inch of rain and some thunderstorms actually moving with this little line southward just south of Tomball. Now you can see it sliding its way across I-10 and then back off towards Kingwood and Tascasset. Another quick little splash and dash. These have been moving fairly quickly, so they are fairly intense for about 10 minutes. But then they are out of the forecast. And that's all aided by this cold front moving southward as well. That's actually going to put a bit of a blocker on any of these moving inland. So that'll keep our rain chances around for the rest of this afternoon and I think some in towards tomorrow's forecast. There's the low itself. That will eventually start to move off into the Gulf. So let's take the future cast as we go through the rest of this evening. By about 8 o'clock tonight, things should wind down fairly quickly. A couple of quick little re flare ups there moving through Matagorda and also in Brazoria County. But for the most part, we should see a quiet end to the night tonight. Nice quiet start for our Monday. Some patchy fog not out of the question in some areas. And then we'll see sort of a refiring of these showers through the afternoon, about 30-40% coverage. And again, same thing. Most of these will move through fairly quickly. As we get in through the uh, late evening hours, we'll see that wind down. And then into Tuesday, uh, most of our shower chances will be well south of us. And that starts the string of a couple of much needed dry days for us. Temperatures kind of all over the map as well, where they have not seen any rainfall out to Brenham. They're at 87 degrees. Meanwhile, cooler in the 70s, where the showers have been moving on through. And for the rest of this afternoon and in towards this evening, we'll see the temperatures slowly fall back overall into the low 70s for early tomorrow morning. Tropical storm Colin just named a tropical storm within the last hour or so at about 40 mile an hour sustained winds. You can see this huge dip in the jet stream and the storm itself will actually follow along with the jet stream, move over towards the east. That'll impact areas along the Gulf Coast of Florida. As you can see, most of the thunderstorm activity from that is over on that east end anyway. So let's track that as we go in towards the next couple of days. If you are going to be traveling anywhere from, let's say, uh, right out to Fort Walton Beach all the way down towards the west side of Florida, expect to see some heavy winds and certainly some pretty good rain as well. Rainfall estimates maybe five to seven inches in spots. Big dome of high pressure will start to clear our skies out for us here across the state, but as that moves its way up the Carolinas by Tuesday and then finally offshore, uh, that will take most of the moisture with it, and then we'll finally start to see some uh, drier days for us here across the Lone Star State. Nice to see that. So we'll go 88 tomorrow, about 40% chance these will be the pop-up variety. Then 90 and dry Tuesday all the way through Friday, just a 20% chance, not nothing major. We'll be back to about 30 to 40% as we head towards next Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But still, a good chunk of the work week will be dry. Nice to see that on the board as well. That's your forecast from ClickTheHouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll be answering weather questions there tonight, and we'll continue to keep you updated on that and. Tropical Storm Colin as it continues to move over towards the eastern end of the Gulf right here at clicktohouston.com.